This is the HTRC T40 Duo. The T40 Duo supports a range of 100 to 240 volt input from AC, 11 to 18 volt DC. On AC input, do two channels combined, you can output 150 watts combined. And on DC, you can only you can do 120 watts times two. You can, you can charge from 0.1 to 10 amp. Uh, times two is per uh, per channel. Uh, one to six cell lipo support. One to fifteen cell nickel uh, chemistry battery support. You also do lead acid batteries, smart batteries. Inside the box, you get your standard ma instruction manual. Read the manuals as always. You get two balance boards and two cables. You can see I already have mine connected in. You get alligator get clip with XC60. That would be for um, powering the charger. You get two bundles of these types of cables. One of them is a T connector or DEANS to XT60. And you have a DEANS or T connector to alligator clips, DEANS or T connector to banana plugs and DEANS or T-connector to your Traxxas type. You get two of these bundles as I said. So this charger comes and they give you charging leads that use T-connectors and then you have to use adapters for any other connectors which is a little bit different. Uh, the industry has standardized on XT60 so it's kind of interesting that they would choose that. So on the front you have channel 1 Channel 1, Channel 1 external temperature, and this set over here is for Channel 2. There is where you power from your DC input, say another uh, 3S LiPo or whatever. There's a PC link cable here, a PC link connector here. I've not used those yet. Your fan, your bonnet, and your backside actually has a dedicated on off. This is a nice color screen. To change between your independent channels, you'll just press the corresponding channel 1 and channel 2 on top. As you can see, you can do it supports li LiPo, LiFi, Lion, Lithium High Voltage, Nickel Metal Hydride, Nickel Cadmium, Lead Acid, Smart Batteries. Your settings here, definitely come in here and double check them. By default, the buzzer sound is on middle, your balance speed is normal. Here, you can see I'm on AC power, and as I adjust, the power to go to one side, which in this case will be channel one, you can see the other side is decreasing. Always a total of 150 watts. So then we want to change another setting, you just go to channel one. Safety timer cutoff, this comes set extremely high, go ahead and drop it down. If you use an external temperature probe, set it for your liking, internal as well. Capacity, go ahead and set this for your most used uh, lipos or battery size, in my case 2200. This comes set pretty high, channel, and then you come over here to channel 2, press that, set it accordingly. For example, set it for anything. you see, save and exit. Monitor, this shows you the cell progress for your batteries. If you have a battery connector, you can do an internal resistance check here by pressing IR. You see, I don't have a battery. We do have, it does support auto cell detection on a balance charge. You always have to set your current rating. You can do a normal charge, you can discharge, you can do a storage. On memory, you can set up, for example, I set this one up to be a a balance charge for my 3S LiPo's at 2200 milliamps and a storage setting so for these under here what you can do is just come in you tap then modify 
Let's say we want to change this one to charge at 4.4 volt uh, amps or 4, 4400 milliamps because it can. Then once you do this, you would hit save. And see this set this was set to 2s by default. Usually, and then you would say save. And now it's on auto detection. You move back out here. The program. First one would be channel 1 is lithium ion. It's a 2s. And you charge at 1 amp or 1.5 amps, 1500 lamp. We'll do a bounce charge. Start. There we go. So this is the screen you get when you start ch charging. I'm not entirely sure what this graph represents. I'm guessing it's the internal temperature. Then we can go look at the cell progress. Now the program channel 2, while channel 1 is running, we go to channel 2, LiPo. We have 2S, 1800, so I'm going to charge it at 1. We start. So here you can see I have a lithium ion and a lipo battery charging. However, one of my complaints is that I have to keep going between channel 1 and channel 2 to see the progress. So this is an example of I was in here and one of my batteries finished what it was doing. I'm on channel 2. I see it's still running. I uh, heard the alarm. Came in and checked. I have to come over here to channel 1 and then you see it's flashing end right there. And that's the only way to know which channel was done. Overall the T40 Duo touchscreen charger from HTRC is a good beginner's charger. If you're going to be charging one battery quite frequently but want growth for a second battery, then this is a good starting charger. Uh, it supports a wide range of battery chemistries. It's easy to program, easy to see with a nice touchscreen, color touchscreen. However, uh, not being able to monitor both charging channels simultaneously is a, a big negative in, in my opinion. I do like that it is independently configured and you can control how much uh, power is being given to each charging channel. Uh, if there is ability to monitor both charge channels simultaneously while in use, this would be a great charger. But since it does not, I will say it's a good charger.